In this video, we're going to learn how to access columns of a pandas data frame using the name of the column. All you have to do is say the name of your data frame. We called ours empty cars. Then we have square brackets after that. That is the indexer. And within the indexer, you just pass a string that is the name of the column you want to get. So we're going to get the MPG column. So we're gonna pass a string called MPG into that indexer. That will select the MPG column. There's also an alternative way of doing this. You can essentially use a dot and then the name of the column. So I'll show how to do that. Instead of what we did above, we could have done empty cars dot MPG. Now, in some cases, we might want to get more than one column at the same time. If we want to do that, we can't use this dot notation. We have to use the indexing notation above, but we can do that by passing in a list into the indexer instead of just a single string. So in that case, we're gonna say the name of our data frame, and then within our square brackets, our indexer, we're going to pass in a list of the different columns that we want. And notice here that we end up with two square brackets in a row. The first one here is for the indexer, and then within the indexer, we have a list, and in Python, lists are enclosed in square brackets. So it can be a little confusing when you're getting started seeing multiple square brackets in a row, but just know that the outermost one is for the indexer, and then inside that, we're passing multiple values, so we need to enclose that in another square brackets to denote the list. So let's just run this and see that we do get three columns. If we wanted to get columns and rows at the same time, we can do that, but we'd have to use a different construction. We want to use dot lock for that. So lock allows us to pass in both rows and columns. Now, oftentimes when you're dealing with a data frame, you might not know what the row in names are like this. And your data frame might not even really have named indices. They might just be numbered. So if you want to do this same construction, but use what amounts to index numbers, instead of these names. You can also do that with dot lock. You just have to use this index construction. These numerical rows correspond to these same cars here. It's just getting them based on the numerical index position instead of these names. So that's the basics of accessing columns in Pandas data frames based on the column names. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like and hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.